James Webb Space Telescope has been operational for less than two years, but it's already made some very good progress. Researchers have just revealed the full power of the James Webb Space Telescope, and you'll be shocked to discover just how powerful mankind's latest invention is. Not only that, but it might just have found life on another planet. So just how powerful is the James Webb Space Telescope, and has it finally found life on a distant exoplanet? Get ready to discover this and much more. Since its launch in 2021, the James Webb Space Telescope has been exploring the vast expanses of the universe, aiming to uncover insights into the formation of the early universe and scrutinizing the atmospheres of nearby exoplanets. The telescope seeks signs of biological life, known as biosignatures, such as gases produced by living organisms and technosignatures which are chemicals that might be created by advanced alien civilizations. Despite the ambitious goals, researchers have been uncertain about the telescope's ability to achieve these technological feats. In a recent study, scientists decided to test the telescope's capability to detect intelligent life by simulating observations of Earth, the only known habitable and inhabited planet. In this study, Researchers obtained a spectrum from Earth's atmosphere, intentionally altering the data to mimic observations from a great distance. They then relocated the James Webb Space Telescope's sensor capabilities through a computer model to assess its ability to detect key biosignatures like methane and oxygen produced by biological life and technosignatures like nitrogen dioxide and chlorofluorocarbons. Surprisingly, the results indicated that the telescope could potentially detect signs of life or alien civilizations within 40 light years of Earth and possibly up to 50 light years away. A groundbreaking discovery added to this potential as researchers identified the exoplanet K218b, situated around 120 light years from our solar system. This Haitian world, characterized by a hydrogen-rich atmosphere and a liquid water ocean, displayed intriguing features. During the observation of K218b's atmosphere, the James Webb Space Telescope detected carbon dioxide and methane. What heightened the excitement was the identification of dimethyl sulfide, a molecule found on Earth on this distant planet. DMS is notable because on Earth, it is produced as a byproduct of life, particularly by microscopic plant-like organisms called phytoplankton in marine environments. This discovery marks a potential biosignature, a feature never before detected on an exoplanet. The significance of Haitian worlds, hot water-covered planets with hydrogen atmospheres, has grown in the search for signs of alien life as they offer better conditions for atmospheric observations. While scientists await additional data to confirm the presence of dimethyl sulfide on K218b, these findings broaden the scope of potential candidates for extraterrestrial life beyond rocky planets, challenging previous assumptions. In the near future, we'll find out whether substantial amounts of DMS exist on K218b. However, even then, we cannot be certain about the presence of life on this high Hycean planet. Biosignatures are tricky for several reasons. We primarily study them based on our knowledge of the Earth's environment. Another problem is biosignatures may have various origins, not just related to living organisms. Take oxygen, for example. 
Even though it's produced through photosynthesis by plants and algae and in-planet, it can also be purely deriving from geological or non-biological processes, like from the breakdown of minerals containing oxygen as a result of chemical reactions involving oxygen-rich compounds. What's certain is we're making progress. At first, our focus was on finding planets similar in size to Earth. Then, we expanded our criteria to include the habitability zone, allowing for the existence of liquid water. And now, we're delving even deeper into studying the chemical composition of exoplanets. Even at this stage of technological progress, we are already able to find biosignatures on alien worlds through something called atmospheric spectroscopy. All the while, scientists are discovering new ways to detect biomarkers on exoplanets. Some of these methods can potentially even describe how alien life forms existing there might look. In one study, scientists looked into the Archean Eon of Earth that was inhabited by a multitude of early life forms like purple bacteria. Several models were created to find out whether a widespread existence of such organisms would influence the way Earth appeared from a distant simulations involved different variables, such as the abundance and distribution of bacteria, including both aquatic and terrestrial environments, as well as the presence and density of clouds in the atmosphere at the time of observation. The results of this study were thrilling. Purple bacteria have a special way of reflecting light that makes them stand out in a certain range of colors. It's similar to the red edge phenomenon observed in leafy plants, where green vegetation has a sharp increase in reflectivity in the near-infrared range. But for purple bacteria, this increase happens in a slightly different color range. This unique feature is due to the special pigment and light-absorbing properties of the bacteria. It helps them capture and use light for their energy needs. Now, given there's a lot of purple bacteria inland regions of an exoplanet, and its skies aren't significantly covered with clouds, we might be able to detect the presence of such organisms using specific optical filters. The James Webb Space Telescope has certainly made many exciting new discoveries lately, but they're not the only discoveries the telescope has made this year, and the next one has created a lot of discussion and controversy. Our universe is expanding, while the attractive force of gravity pulls all matter together. In the past, physicists believed that eventually this expansion should slow down. But then we discovered that the universe's expansion is accelerating instead. It all didn't make sense if we only accounted for ordinary matter. So there has to be something else at play. That's when scientists consider the existence of the two elusive entities that prevail in the cosmos, dark matter, and dark energy. Dark matter functions as an imperceptible substance in space that plays a crucial role in maintaining the cohesion of galaxies and clusters of galaxies. Comprising 27% of the total universe, it serves as an unseen framework that stabilizes the cosmic structure. Despite its lack of interaction with ordinary matter and absence of light emission, scientists can analyze it through gravitational effects akin to studying its gravitational fingerprints. On the other hand, dark energy, constituting approximately 68% of the universe, remains a perplexing phenomenon responsible for the accelerated expansion of the cosmos. While invisible and intangible, its presence is discerned by scrutinizing the patterns and movements of galaxies. Despite the inability to directly observe or touch dark energy, scientists have inferred its existence through meticulous measurements, such as those involving cosmic background radiation and the overall structure of the universe. Recent developments in astrophysics may have altered the previous lack of concrete evidence for the existence of dark matter and dark energy. Stars, including our Sun, traditionally operate through nuclear fusion at their cores, a process wherein lighter elements like hydrogen fuse to form heavier elements, predominantly helium. This fusion results in the release of a substantial amount of energy in the form of light and heat, 
contributing to the brilliance of stars in the cosmic expanse. However, a groundbreaking possibility has emerged regarding an alternative energy source for stars, dark matter, or more precisely, the heat generated during its annihilation. The James Webb Space Telescope, through its advanced deep extragalactic survey, has the capability to observe some of the most remote regions of the universe, essentially peering into the past. Given the significant differences between the early universe and its current state, peculiar celestial bodies, such as stars, thousands of times more massive than contemporary ones, might have formed during that epoch. We've definitely found a lot of interesting things lately, and we've got a lot more work to do to figure out these cosmological mysteries, and it looks as though the universe is definitely going to get a lot more interesting from here on out. That's all the time we have for now, but before we go, we want to ask you, our viewers, what you think. Do you believe the James Webb Space Telescope will finally detect an alien civilization out there? And how do you think that will change life here on Earth for humans? Share your thoughts in the comments below. We hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned here for more fascinating discoveries of the universe and our planet, and thanks for watching.